Hey, what's up you guys? Putting a trailer hitch on your Ford Ranger can take you to some really cool places like camping, biking, or even towing a U-Haul trailer just about anywhere in North America. Let's go ahead and break down that really easy install. You'll need the tool seen here to complete this installation. We're gonna start by prepping the underbody of our vehicle for our hitch. On the driver's side, we're gonna remove this bolt towards the rear of our frame using an 18 millimeter socket. Now that we have this bolt removed, we're going to loosen up the other bolt on our frame using an 18 millimeter socket as well. Now still on the driver's side, we're gonna remove this J nut right here where our first bolt was located. To remove it, we're gonna use a flathead screwdriver and a pair of needle nose pliers. To remove the J nut, we're just gonna pull down on it with the flathead screwdriver and once it's released, we're going to remove it with the needle nose pliers. And we'll repeat the same process on the passenger side. Now we're gonna tighten up both of those bolts to put our bumper back into place. Now we're ready to bring our hitch into place. We're gonna be using our U-Haul exclusive hitch jack. If you don't have a hitch jack, we do recommend that you get an extra set of hands as you will have to hold this into place while we put our bolts in. As you raise it up, we're gonna bring it around this bolt right here and we want this hole to line up with the hole where we removed our bolt. Now we're ready to bring our bolts into place. Each side has two attachment points. For each attachment point, we have a carriage bolt and a block. We'll go ahead and put our rear one in first. Now for our second attachment hole, your Ranger may not have a pre-drilled hole like ours does. If you don't, you'll just take a half inch drill bit and you'll drill out that hole using a hitch as a template. Now that we have our second attachment hole ready, we're gonna take a third carriage block and we're going to slip it in between our frame and the hitch. And then we'll take our other carriage bolt and block and bring it into place from above. Now on the driver's side, we're going to install our provided flange nuts, making sure the teeth are facing up. And then we'll repeat all these steps on the passenger side. Now we're gonna tighten and torque all of our bolts to the manufacturer's specification. We're gonna be using a 19 millimeter socket to tighten all those down. Now with our hitch installed, we want to point out that on most Rangers, it already has a factory installed four flat harness. It will be located right up here on the driver's side frame. If you just follow this loom, you should be able to see it. And that way, with your hitch installed, you're now ready to tow a trailer. With our hitch installed, we went ahead and pulled our vehicle down onto level ground to show you some important measurements for your hitch accessories. This is a two inch receiver from the pinhole so the edge of the bumper is four inches, and from the ground to the top of the inside of the receiver is 21 inches. This will help you determine the length, rise, and drop for your hitch accessories, such as a cargo carrier or bike rack. So that wraps up our install in our video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about this product, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul Hitch Professional, you can visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center, or you can visit us online at uhaulhitches.com. Thank you.